Here's what happened on day 13 of the Young Thug YSL RICO trial. The Young Thug YSL trial resumed after a holiday hiatus. Day 13 saw Young Thug, accompanied by five associates back in Fulton County Superior Court, Georgia. Trontavius Tick Stevens, a co-defendant who had accepted a plea deal, also joined him. Stevens took the witness stand, facing a barrage of questions from prosecutor Adrian Love. Love aimed to identify members of the ROC crew, an alleged precursor to YSL. Despite the pressure, Stevens denied any courtroom link to the ROC. Stevens affirmed his role in co-founding the YSL label with Young Thug and Walter Murphy. He claimed YSL was purely a musical venture, unrelated to any street-level activity. Interestingly, Stevens made a show of throwing a gang sign in court. The trial concluded for the day with Stevens still testifying. Meanwhile, Young Thug is battling multiple charges, including violation of Georgia's RICO Act. Prosecutors aim to show that Thug and others used YSL as a front for violent gang activity. The state also accuses YSL of numerous violent crimes such as armed robbery, conspiring to murder, and involvement in criminal street gang activity. The jury of 12, diverse in gender and race, will determine Thug's fate. The trial is expected to extend over several weeks. The trial will pick up again on its 14th day Thursday.